so yes we have discussed about the sources for reconstructing the history in the previous class that is sources for re reconstructing the history that is mainly literary sources and non-literary sources in the literary sources we have seen religious literature and non-religious literature now religious literature are the text where we have religion as a theme in the religious th literatures we have seen vedangas upanishads vedas vedangas upanishads vedas vedangas upanishads and brahmanas aryankaras and many other we will see about the vedas now the word vid means to know or to have a knowledge about now vedas have the status of shruti shruti in the sense it is self esteemed esteemed by the rishis realization by the rishis by doing meditation or the revelation by god to them shruti means these two self esteemed or realization or revelation by the god to them now there is another word called smriti that is different we will discuss it later on but the smriti's meaning is remember now remembering and passing it to the next generations such as puranas epics and other literatures now let's see vedas are composed around 1500 to 500 bc some say 1500 to 1000 bc and now that is not mostly important now it is written in sanskrit sanskrit is two types now pre sanskrit pre classical sanskrit and classical sanskrit classical sanskrit is where that is developed in around 5th and 6th century bc when the grammatical grammatical works evolved such as as we discussed earlier ashtadhyayi dai by panini mahabhashya by patanjali now after evolution of this or after the composition of this the works are called as classical sanskrit works before that it is called as pre classical works pre classical sanskrit works now the vedas are again divided into four rigveda yajurveda samaveda adharva veda now the rigveda samhita i will discuss about the samhita later on now rigveda samhita is the oldest of all the existing vedas oldest text of all the existing vedas all the remaining are whatever the brahmana saryankana upanishads and all the yajurveda are all called as later vedic texts now the vedas all the four vedas are again divided into samhita brahmanas aryankanas and upanishads no samhita no samhita in the sense they are rituals no rigveda samhita as 1028 hymns which are arranged in 10 books which are called as mandalas no similarly samaveda have 1810 hymns now as i said rigveda is the main 
text and all the remaining are the explanations of the Rig Veda. The, now the most of the hymns are taken from Rig Veda. Now Yajur Veda is the explanation of the rituals in Rig Veda. Now Adharva Veda is the philosophical explanation, nothing but explanation only, but the philosophical explanation and the practices and beliefs of that particular time, beliefs of people of that particular time. Now, as I said, Samhita is the kind of rituals, and these Brahmanas, Aryankana, Supanishads are some or the other intermixed. They are same, nothing but explained in some or the other different forms. Now, what does Brahmana means? Now, Brahmana means that is also a an explanation of rituals. Brahmana is nothing but explanation of rituals and its outcomes. Now, Aryankana. What are Aryankanas? Aryankana is are also called as forest books. They are nothing but, they are also the interpretations of rituals and philosophical explanation of those rituals. Philosophical and symbolic explanation of those rituals. Now what are Upanishads? Upanishads are mainly 108. In those, the principal Upanishads are 13. Now, Upanishads are mainly in the old philosophy. Now, as we say, some people are uh, talking in a old philosophy, right? This is based on Upanishads, such as Atma, Paramatma. Now, all this comes under Upanishads. Now we discussed about the Samhita, Brahmana, Aryankana, Upanishads. Now we will discuss about the several recessions. Recessions in the sense, revisions. Revisions. Now the revisions are also called as Shakas. Now the Rig Veda, all the Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, Sama Veda, Adharva Veda have recessions. Now the Rig Veda's recession is called as, the only surviving Rig Veda recession is Shakala Shaka. Now Shakala Shaka is the only surviving recession of the Rig Veda. Now when it comes to Yajur Veda. Yajur Veda. We have two different schools. Now, school of teaching, school of interpretation, school of editions. Now, the schools are called as Charanas. Now, there are different types of schools or different types of discussions, different types of group of people who discuss on this. Now, Yajur Veda also have two different types of schools. They are Shukla Shaka, sorry, Shukla Charana and Krishna Charana. Krishna school and Shukla school. Now Shukla school is white school. Krishna school is black school. Now what is black school? Now what are the differences between them? Now, sim similarly as Rig Veda, Yajurveda, Samaveda and all, the Shukla school have only rituals. The Krishna school have commentaries. Commentaries, explanations to the rituals. Now, Shukla school 
is again subdivided into Madhyandina. Madhyan Dina and Kanva. Now this Shukla school is also called as Vajasaneya. Vajasaneya. Now the Krishna school is again divided into Krishna school is again divided into Kataka, Kapistala, Maitarayani, Taitariya. Now I just wanted to, I just wanted you to know about the idea you can read the spellings and text in the book as i mentioned the books earlier now similarly samaveda in samaveda you will have three different recessions samaveda you can see Kautuma, Kautuma recession, Ranayaniya recession, Ranayaniya recession, and Jaimaniya recession. Jaimaniya is also called as Talavakara recession. Now, similarly, Adarva Veda. Adarva Veda have two different recessions. One is Shaunaka and the other is Pai Pallada. Now Vedas are also div divided into Vedangas. Vedangas are nothing but the supplementary texts. Supplementary texts of Vedas. Now Vedanga is also called as limbs of Vedas. Limbs of Vedas. Now Shiksha is what phonetics, a type of word pronunciation and all. Now Kalpa is rituals. These are different types of Vedangas. Kalpa is rituals, performing rituals and all. Now Vyakarana is grammar, grammatical works. As we discussed, Dashtadhyayi by Panini and Mahabhasya by Patanjali. Now, Nirukta. Nirukta is etymology. Etymology is where the evolution of word and its transformation or changing of its meaning from time to time in the history. Now, the study of the changing of meaning of a word in the history is called as etymology. The example of etymology are Eshkas etymology or Eshkas nirukta. Now Chanda. Chanda is matrix. A matrix in the sense. Now we perform rituals in the home, yajnas, fire altars, that is called altars. Now this is fire. The measurement of that fire altars and performing the rituals, whatever the measurements required in the rituals, the discussion of is it is called as chanda. Now Jyotisha is astrology. As you know, astrology what astrology means. Now these are the Vedangas. So this is what Vedas are. Now we will come with the next topic in the next video. Thank you.